Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is find the probability that both 3, 2 and 3, 3, so 3, 2 and 3, 3, this is third generation, are carriers given that 2, 7, so 2, 7 and 3, 1, 3, 1 exhibit the recessive trait affected individuals are marked black in the pedigree below. When we look at this pedigree, let's pay attention first to this couple. They both phenotypically normal, but have affected daughter. So this gives us information that this is autosomal recessive genetic disorder and genotype of the daughter is small a, small a. And that means that both parents have to have one dominant allele and one recessive. So have to be heterozygous. So the genotype have to be capital A and small a. In this case, they would be phenotypically normal, but can give each one of them recessive allele to their daughter. Now we have to find the probability that this person in generation three is a carrier. These two males are brothers. And this male got recessive allele from one of his parents. And we assume that one of the parents has this recessive allele. This can be any, whether father or mother. Let's assume that this is going to be mother. So father's genotype would be normal capital A, capital A, and mother would be capital A and small a. Again, we can change that mother is going to be homozygous normal and father can be heterozygous. From father's side, the son only can get dominant allele A. So let's put it here, dominant allele A. But from the mother side, he can get with the dominant allele A or recessive allele A. And chances are equal. So 50%. And probability that this person is heterozygous is going to be 50% or one half. Now we also have to assume that all people that marry into their family would be phenotypically and genotypically normal, so would have two normal alleles. Again, what is the probability that this couple would have a son who is going to be a carer? From the mother side, the son only can get dominant allele A, but from the father side, it can be with the dominant allele A or recessive allele A. And probability that son is going to get from the father side recessive allele A is going to be also one half. So probability for the son to be a carrier is going to be a product of one half times one half is going to be one quarter. This is a product that his father a carrier, which is 50%, and that his father would pass this recessive allele to his son the probability is also 50%. So one half times one half probability for the son to be a carrier would be one quarter. Now let's find the probability that this female is going to be a carrier. Take a look. This person is affected, but his parents are phenotypically normal and we have the same genetic disorder. That means the genotype of this person is small a, small a. And parents have to be heterozygous, so both would be phenotypically normal, but would have each of them recessive allele. What is the probability that this person, who is a sister of this affected person, would be a carrier? Take a look, we know for sure that both parents are heterozygous. So one parent here, another parent here. So we build simple Punnett square, and let's take a look. What is the probability for this female to be a carrier? Capital A, capital A here, capital A, small a here, capital A, small a here, and small a, small a here. We know for sure that she is not affected. So we can cross out this variant. And we know that she is phenotypically normal. So she belongs to one of these genotypes. All these genotypes produce normal phenotype. And we know that her phenotype is normal, but her probability to be a carrier would be two out of three. So probability for this female to be a carrier would be two thirds. 
And we also assume that this person who is genetically unrelated to this family would be phenotypically and genotypically normal. So for this person, for their daughter, daughter of this couple, probability to be a carrier would be from father's side, she only can inherit dominant allele A. And from the mother's side, her probability would be 50% to inherit this recessive allele, 50% to inherit this dominant allele, 50% or one half, one half. And probability that the daughter would be a carrier would be two thirds times one half. So two thirds probability that the mother is a carrier and one half that mother would pass this recessive allele to her daughter. So probability is going to be one third. One third we put here. Now let's read our question again. Find the probability that both 3, 2 and 3, 3 are carriers. And that means that we have to multiply this to independent probability in order to find the probability that they are both simultaneously are carriers. So we are going to use a product rule. So one quarter times one third is going to be one twelfth. And this is going to be our answer today. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.